welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you're having an amazing fantastic day and welcome back to another chit chat with god a little message i am bringing you but this time it is christmas themed it is themed towards the birth of our lord and savior jesus christ i had this message prepared for a sunday school lesson today but no kids ended up showing oh my camera's dying let me switch all out real quick all right, so I had this message prepared and no kids ended up showing up, but I still want to get this message out to someone who needs it. So during the month of December and November, we are trying to get into this Christmas spirit. We are so busy and we just want to feel Christmas like we did when we were a little kid and we just are tired of Christmas coming and going and not actually feeling Christmas so we decorate our houses and we go shopping and we go ice skating we go see the Christmas lights and at the end of the day you're like but I still have to take finals and I still have to prepare and it just doesn't feel like Christmas when I still have stuff to do and I have been feeling this way and I'm like I do all these things but it just doesn't feel like Christmas because I have to take finals in a couple weeks and that's daunting on me and I I have to study for these finals and it's really just revolving around finals and it's just very stressful and then I'm reminded of what Christmas is truly about. And I know you've heard that probably your whole life. Like, Christmas is all about the birth of our Savior, Jesus Christ. But when you really think about it, that's what it is. You have to come to this point where that's what Christmas is to you. As many times as someone will say it, it has to click for you one day. So I've learned that when I'm trying to get in this Christmas spirit, that it's not a bad thing to go and look at the Christmas lights and to go shopping and to bake the cookies and all that. But just do it from a point of like, yes, I'm celebrating Christmas because what Jesus did for me. He came onto this earth. He didn't have to, but he wanted this connection with me. And so I'm celebrating by doing the cookies and just like having this place of overfilling joy because of Jesus, because of the joy he gives me. I can have that and I can spill it out into the rest of the world. I can spill it out to this place of, oh, let's go decorate a tree together. And, oh, our church needs help decorating trees. Let's go do that. Oh, um, you need help? Let me go help you. Let's do this together. Let's spend the holidays together. Because of what Jesus did, because he came as a lowly baby, poor family he didn't come with crowns and jewels but he came as a baby as the most meek and mild not mild meek and just tender state into a not so fortunate family but he came to show that he is for the rich he's for the poor he's for the broken-hearted the nice the the broken-hearted the healed heart he's for everybody and he came to fill us with this joy because of what jesus did we could have that christmas spirit we need to learn that our christmas spirit doesn't come from the world but it comes from inside and really i'm saying this to you and you're like oh yeah but the only way you can get this christmas spirit from jesus is finding it out for yourself is opening your word and studying it it's taken me years to fully realize, and it's still a struggle. It's taken me years to fully realize the Christmas spirit, but it's still a struggle. It's that every day, every second, every minute, it's a daily prayer of, Lord, let me focus on you. Let me focus on you, especially this Christmas, but all the days of my life, all the days. But let me just really think about your birth. And it's so important that you open your word and that you're studying it. You listen to the gospel and you really just understand what he did and the crazy thing and i don't know how well i can explain this because this is just something that's popped into my mind is when jesus came to this earth it wasn't just a pop 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 everything changed it wasn't just like oh jesus is here everything's changed it is good but it was because these people, the shepherds, Mary and Joseph, the wise men, because they were changed because they went and sought Jesus out. They were told that there was a baby and instead of just ignoring it and be like, whatever, I don't need to go. They went to the child. They're like, 
okay, I'm going to go to this and I'm going to go worship. They were changed because they went. That's also when Jesus died on the cross. We have to openly accept it. Jesus is there like, here I am. I came on this earth. Please just see me. But he cannot force us. He cannot force us just to be like, yep, Christmas spirit. No, it has to be, Lord, I want this Christmas spirit. I want to just recognize you as the good and holy God. I want to come to this place of worship and this place of, yes, Christmas joy and soaking up everything and the aesthetics and everything because of what you did, because you came into this earth. And it is so good when you come to this point and the only way and i cannot stress this enough to do that is to open your word and i'm going to read a few scripture verses that have really just encouraged me and to show what the true meaning of christmas is and like i've said before we hear the, what the true meaning of christmas is all the time is jesus's birth but we have to accept that for ourselves we have to dive into this place of yeah it comes from a self place I can tell you all that and yes this video is to help you convince you of all that but you have to have a heart posture i hope this is making sense and i know that the holy spirit is speaking through me and speaking through you this is not me talking this is what the holy spirit is saying because i've barely said any of this and the holy spirit is telling me what to say so this is from isaiah 9 verses 2 through 3 the people walking in great darkness have seen a great light on those living in the land of deep darkness a light has dawned you have enlarged the nation and increased their joy they rejoice before you as people rejoice at the harvest as warriors rejoice when dividing the plunder so these people um before jesus came before they had to do all the jewish sacrifices and all these ways of living and it was just this dark place because they were separated from God. But after Jesus came and he showed us how to live and he died on the cross, we were, we, this, you could see it in Acts and in the new, rest of the New Testament, after the Gospels, this breaking and this new way of living instead of following the routine of washing your hands like this and then cutting the meat and only eating this on this days and all this. And that we could just, we don't have to make offerings to God, like by an animal. And so once we realize that, you can see the people walking in darkness. They don't have God. They don't have this one-on-one -on -one connection with God. They have to do all these things to get to him because of the fall of Adam and Eve. But because of what Jesus did, he has given this great joy. He's given this, just this, you have enlarged the nation, enlarged their hearts, you just made them happy. And it, and Isaiah compares them to warriors rejoice when dividing the plunder. After warriors had a nice big battle and they won and they got to divide up all their plunder, all their gold and everything that they got to go home, they they were so joyful that they won and they got to take home all this gold and take all this stuff. They're just so happy. And that's what Jesus did for us. He gave us the ultimate treasure and was like, I get to go home. I get to go to heaven now. So we're going to go to Luke 2 which is the infamous best, I think, of the Gospels retelling of Jesus. And I'm going to read, um, where am I going to read? Now, I'm just going to take out a couple key points. Um, this is from Luke 2, verse 2. Um, so they're talking about the census that I had to get to. This was the first sentence that took place in a while. Canerasus was governor of Syria, and everyone went to their own town to register. It's beautiful that all the prophecies and everything that happened and this the timing of like this census hasn't taken a, what place in a while but right when jesus was about to be born it happened just so the prophecy of in the town of david jesus could be born the most beautiful verse which is so simple and is so like i have missed over my whole life is it happens twice first in chapter 2 19 but mary treasured all these things and pondered them in her heart all these things that were happening the beautifulness of the wise men and the shepherds and everything happening she was just like took them to heart she wasn't like boasting like oh look my son's giving praises and everything no she was just like took them in and knew god had given her the son and he this baby was God's son and it was just pondered them in her heart. 
And it says very similar. Okay, and then it says that in verse 2, um, 51. But his mother treasured all these things in her heart. She treasured them. She pondered and kept and treasured and kept them as a special place. And I really hope this has been making sense because I'm just kind of sporadic and talking about the goodness of God. And I know that the Holy Spirit's working through me and I pray that the Holy Spirit will work through you as you're listening to this to deceive and to just be able to hear the good things I am saying through God. That God is saying through me, as I should say. I'm just trying my best. I don't know a lot of like theological in the nitty gritty details but I'm coming from a place of I love Jesus and I want you to know the greatness of I love Jesus. So as to go because we've gotten kind of everywhere but to go back onto the Christmas sphere and really remembering we can come to celebrate Christmas through a place of what Jesus did I'm going to leave you with this is a lyric from a king and country I guess not um, not a song, but it's a monologue. So it's really beautiful. And it's talking about how Jesus came very lowly and everything. And how he, he re reconnected us from to earth. But this particularly goes to what we were saying. That we know that God is smiling at us. That he's loving us. That we are enough. So light up that Christmas tree. Stand under the mistletoe. Surround yourself with the ones that love you the most and together let's celebrate the greatest news this world has ever known it's just so beautiful i really encourage you to listen to this monologue and to read the lyrics because it is saying of uh, because of what jesus did connect with your friends and family connect with the ones that you love the most and celebrate the greatest news praise the lord the greatest news that has ever ever happened ever been told ever just anything so i'm going to pray us out because i really feel like we just need some prayer dear lord i pray over whoever's listening this viewer that is listening and is confused of where to be this christmas and christmas is such a hard time on everybody lord but i know that you are good and that all that matters is that the baby came so no matter what let us remember and come from a place of the baby coming and being born on this earth, Lord. That you are the greatest and that you, Lord, have sent your son, Jesus, to us and to die on the cross. Let us remember this, not only this Christmas season, but the rest of our lives. We love you so much, Lord, and we thank you. We cannot sing you enough praises. Amen. That is all for this video. I hope it was a great encouragement to you and... I really just, I just love y'all and I thank y'all for all the support that you give. And just remember, I love you, Jesus loves you, and if you ever need anything,